Hey guys, my name is Ethan and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix a corrupt file uh, which you want to edit in Sony Vegas, so let's get on with it. Alright, so assuming you have this error, uh, what's going to happen is once you drag your file into Sony Vegas, it's going to show you something green at the end of the video or maybe even during the whole video. And if you want to preview something, your entire program is going to crash. Like this, so I press play right there. And now my entire program is going to explode or something. Wait for it. There we go. So just close this. We won't be needing that anymore. And now we will go to the solution. All right. So go to your browser and uh, search for Apple QuickTime, and then just download QuickTime for any uh, for your PC for maybe for XP. Uh, maybe you're using Vista or Windows 7. Just download it and install it. I already had it installed, so I'm just going to do that real quick. Make sure you read the terms of agreement. I already did that because, like I said, I had it installed. Alright, so give me the standard version. Yes, that's okay. Alright, there we go. Let's just wait for this to finish. Alright, it's done. So now this was part one of the solution. Uh, click on complete and don't go to pro unless you want to. Alright, so now what you gotta do is start Sony Vegas again and input the same file. Okay, so it's still not fixed. So right click on your video track, go to properties, and then go to general. And here you will see the name of your plugin, and this one is called compoundplug.dll. Now after you know which plug it's going to use, which plugin it's going to use, go to your Sony Vegas folder, uh, mine is located here, and go to file IO plugins, this one right there. And I go to compound plug and change the name, just um, put something after it, maybe a one or something. All right, there we go. And that's that. Close this, close that, and close Sony Vegas again. And now restart your computer and start Sony Vegas again. And we're back. So if everything went correct, uh, you should be able to input your video again. And this time it's going to work and it's not going to give you the green thing at the end. So let's just wait for this to finish. All right, and it's done. So now you can just click anywhere on the video track and it's just going to show you a preview without any hassle. Let me just disable the sound. All right, there we go. And let's go, let's play it. Okay, I should have picked somewhere where the screen is moving, maybe here. There we go. Everything is working and that's the solution to your problems. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up if it helped you and I will see you at my next tutorial. Peace.